Welcome back class, I'm Mr. Teacher with the SAT Math Video Guide. So we're going to get started on number 5 here. In the figure above, the scale on the x-axis is different from the scale on the y-axis, which, personally, I wouldn't advise you to do in your average math class. If the area of triangle ABC is 18, what is the value of K? Alright, so this area of triangle a, B, C is equal to 18. And the area of a triangle, if you remember, is half base times height, or half height times base, whichever one you prefer. So half height, um, half base times height is equal to 18. If we divide by half, we'll get base times height is equal to 36. Now, we know it's height already. It's 4 because it start, its base starts at y value 2 and it goes up to y value 6. So 4b is equal to 36 and therefore the base is equal to 9. Now we just need to figure out the value of k. So as you can see the base goes from 2k to 5k. So that's 1, 2, 3. So 3k is equal to 9 separate this here that's I cut through the equation it's okay so K is equal to 3 and that is choice E the correct answer moving on to number 6 which is on the next page if M and K are positive and 10 M to the power of 2 times K to the power of negative 1 is equal to 100 M what is M to the power of negative 1 in terms of K so Lots and lots of confusing um, logic, I guess. Lots of confusing logic here involved because it's kind of unclear on what to do. So first thing we would want to do is simplify this equation. So I see a common term is 10m. So let's divide by 10m. 10m to the 10 times m to the power of 2 divided by 10 times m will be equal to m to m just m because it's um, here I'll explain it if you're kind of unsure on that because that's where most of the most of us stump on this question you got rid of the 10 so you're left with m squared divided by m if you remember exponent rules this will be 2 minus 1 which is equal to just m so m times k to the power of negative 1 is equal to 100m times, uh, sorry, divided by 10m is 10, as far as I know. <laughs> so another way to write k to the power of negative 1 is 1 over k, and 1 times m is m, so m over k is equal to 10. If we cross multiply here, we'll get m is equal to 10k after cross multiplication. Then to get m to the power of negative 1 we just um, invert reciprocate both sides so 1 over m which will be to the power of negative 1 is equal to 1 over 10k or basically you can just get rid of that 1 so m to the power of negative 1 is equal to 1 over 10k and that's choice D. Moving on to number seven, um, which is a triangle. Edna and Nancy leave the house of a common friend at the same time and walk for four hours. Edna walks due east at the average rate of four kilometers per hour, and Nancy walks due north at the average rate of three kilometers per hour. What is the straight line distance between them in kilometers at the end of the four hours? So here's a nice thing to remember it by which the college board has done great at. Edna starts with E and she goes east. Nancy starts with N and she goes north. So we need to find how, the distance of how far they went. So since it's Edna went four kilometers per hour, four times four will be equal to 16. Nancy went 3 kilometers per hour for 4 hours. 3 times 4 is equal to 12. Now, you could al already tell that this is a 3, 4, 5 triangle because 1 went 3 kilometers per hour, 1 went 4 kilometers per hour. You, you can cancel out the kilometers per hour and you would just get 3 and 4. So, 
this would be a multiple of 5 and we don't know what it is well it's pretty easy to find out you multiply 3 by 4 to get 12 you multiply 4 by 4 to get 16 so you multiply 5 by 4 to get 20 which is choice E and moving on to our final question which is quite confusing in fact the figure above shows the graph of a quadratic function f that has a minimum at the point 1 comma 1 if f of b is equal to f of 3 which of the following could be the value of b well if you remember your functions as i've shown once that's the wrong color oh no um if you remember your functions f of x is equal to the y value and the x itself is equal well to the x value so when it says f of b is equal to f of 3 it just it's just telling us this y value is equal to this other y value where the x is equal to 3 so here's 1 2 3 so the y value here is 1 2 3 4 5 so f of 3 is equal to 5 then you would say, well, then b is also equal to 3 because f of b also has to be equal to 5. Well, yes and no. If you check the answer choices, there is no answer as 3. And that's what's going to throw you off in the first place. But then you have to remember, this is a parabola. So it's symmetrical. If, there, if a certain unit is equal to five on the y-axis on the right side it certainly will be the same on the left side and certainly it is over here we reach the y value of five again at x equals minus one so a parabola well this parabola can reach the y value of five when it's either neg um, three or negative one and negative 1 is an answer choice, and it's choice C, so that is the correct answer. I hope this helped you with your math preparation, and I'll see you in the next video.